Ouch. Where is he, boy? I know your part pointer. Now, where is he? Hi! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Not so fast, Johnny son. But we're inside, Dad. Inside your dry house. And we both know you don't have the guts to wash me in here. <laughs> Is that Johnny's marshmallow shooter? Yes, but it's filled with Brussels sprouts. Johnny refuses to eat his vegetables, but he's gonna now. Honestly, the two of you. It's sad, I know. Now, I wait for Johnny to get a high score and... <laughs> Did you clean your room, Johnny? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Here I come! Hey, I warned him. It's like this every day in this house. Who ties up their kid? I asked you 50 times to brush and you did it. Now spit. I told you I had a long day and I wanted to play some more. You had an easy day. I had a hard day. I wish my day was like yours. I woke up this morning and dragged you out of bed, made everyone breakfast, made lunch, did the grocery shopping, washed everyone's clothes, ran countless errands for your mother. Try being married to her, by the way. Then I made dinner. Is this story going to take long? Almost done. I cleaned up dinner, tied you to the homework pole, then tied you to the toothbrush pole, and now I'm going to have to fight you to go to bed. And then I will go to bed so I wake up and do it all again tomorrow. I'm just saying. You wouldn't last a day in my shoes. You couldn't last an hour in mine! We can arrange that. Maybe this isn't a good idea. I mean, switching brains with Johnny seems dangerous and <laughs> maybe twisted. Ha! I told you you couldn't be me. This is my day. Hooked up to stuff like this, and I take it like a man. And I'll take it like an 11-year-old ungrateful son who doesn't appreciate all the things I do for him, so start the test! This is going to be awesome! <laughs> oh, oh, that hurt! You are both grounded for a too painful procedure, and oh, I'm Johnny now. And I'm Dad now. And I say they are not grounded, and you go to bed. No way! And time out! Not a word of this to your mother. She'll flip. Right, got it. Deal. Secret is safe. <laughs> Have a good day, my wonderful son. I made you the lunch you think I love, but makes me vomit. You're the best dad in the world. Um, I'm confused. Uh, who am I supposed to hang with? Me, of course, because we get to goof off all day long. Okay, honey. Here's your list. The toilet upstairs is clogged. The floodlight in the back of the house is out. I think there's a raccoon living in the dishwasher. And Johnny's supposed to make cupcakes for a bake sale at school tomorrow. So bake them and make sure they are amazing. Bad cupcakes is a sign of a bad family. Huh? Hi, Test. You want to play Johnny Ball? Games on the bus? How easy is that? Hey, you talk funny today. I have a cold. And yes, I'd love to participate in your bus game. How do you play Johnny Ball? Easy! 
easy. You're the ball, and we knock you around. <laughs> <laughs> study today and watch the fun. Already emailed the university. Susan Ted! What do you think of my horse-drawn love carriage? And what do you think of my riding crop? I will return for you! Nothing to it, right? If Dad can unclog a toilet, so can we. Uh, you mean you. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Being stuffed in my own locker by Bumper is still better than toilet plunging. Now it's off to the pressureless classroom. You're late, Tess! Huh? That's detention for two days! Oh, no homework! That's another two days! Now spell the word Hocaspis! You what? Oh, uh, uh, H O K A. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to play my Johnny Ball? <laughs> right now, Dad's probably failed the spelling test and played Johnny Ball. And all I have to do is change a light bulb. How hard is that? Actually... Ah! We should get this on video. Susan Test, I'm falling in love for you! You get it? <laughs> falling? Love? And I have a giant fan! Get it? Giant fan! <laughs> oh, I hate Johnny Ball, but I love lunch break. Ooh, a meatloaf sandwich. <laughs> Thanks for the lunch, funny talking test. Uh, you didn't eat the Brussels sprouts. I hate Brussels sprouts, but I love magic. Now watch everyone as I make Johnny test and disappear. <laughs> Ugh, those cupcakes smell like turd. They're not cooked yet. Um, do you even know how to use an oven? Yes. I mean, no! <sighs> it's like fireworks. <laughs> School, hard day long. Must hide from boys. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's it. You are nothing but a punk who spends more time picking on kids than doing schoolwork. You clearly lack any self-confidence and or knowledge to function normally in society. And frankly, you smell and need a bath. And you should eat your Brussels sprouts because if you ate better, you wouldn't be so maladjusted. <laughs> oh, and I've made you mad, haven't I? Okay, I think I got this cooking thing down. Ah, I'm telling you, this is better than the 4th of July. I can't take it. Dad wins! I just want my horrible childhood back. <laughs> and I want my awful life back! I'm so sorry, Dad. And I love you, man. I love you too, son. Oh, and Bumper's coming here to kick your butt. I mean my butt. I mean help! Bumper is coming here? Well then, we better get rid of him. How? Easy. We'll just take all the things we use to destroy each other and use them to destroy Bumper. Test! I am gonna make your feet your ears! Wow, you made him mad. To my room! Open up, Test, or I'll knock this door down! No, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Here I come! I warned him. I'm still gonna destroy you, Test, because there is nothing you can do to stop me! You leave me, uh, I mean, uh, my son alone! Are those Brussels sprouts? Boiled. No butter, no salt. <laughs> I give up Test with a cold! You win! You win! <laughs> You know, Dad, I have a new respect for your cooking. And I promise to brush my teeth every night. And I promise to give you more free time knowing how hard and dangerous elementary school can be. Oh, and I'm getting you karate lessons. In some ways, I guess this really was a great day. Oh. And now, 
it's about to get worse. Why is the house smoking with burnt cupcakes all over the lawn? And why did I get a call from the principal saying Johnny cut skull? Yep, we're dead. Huh? Uh, I mean, I have a cult. Somebody tell me what's going on. We switched places to prove who had the tougher life. And they're both pretty tough. And frankly, Mom, you take advantage of Dad. You switch their bodies? No, we switch their brains. Oh! We'll switch them back! I'm back, back to, to normal. normal! But I'm still mad at all of you. I work hard all day and all week, and I don't have time to come home to a destroyed house, and now I have to make the cupcakes! Come on, Mom. You work in finance. You had numbers all week. How hard can that be? Well, I know it's harder than being a spoiled teenager who tinkers in a lab all day. Where have I seen this before? I love you, Mom, but you couldn't last a day in my shoes. <laughs> you couldn't last an hour in mine. I can arrange that. <gasps> Get away, Eugene. I'm not into you. But I love you, Susan Test, who clearly has a cold. Okay, Mom's keeping ahead of Eugene pretty good. I wonder how Susan's baking's going. Yeah! <laughs> it really is like the 4th of July. <laughs> I don't want to play steeplechase. Don't be such a dog. No jump! No! I'm not a horse. Who cares? That was awesome. Regardless, Jonathan, I am a dog who needs to do dog things. Oh, will you just come out and say what's really on your mind? Well, they just opened a new dog park in the snooty part of town. All grass, no dirt, and newly planted trees! Oh, you know I hate snooty dog park people. They're all like, what kind of dog do you have? My dog is hyperallergenic. His name means rigorous in Dutch and blah, 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 blah. I let you ride me like a horse! <laughs> Okay, great. You let it rip on a tree. Can we go now? Are you kidding? I, I haven't even sniffed all the new butts yet. <laughs> so, which dog is yours? Do you really care, pal? Do you? Because let's be honest. What you really want to do is talk about your dog. But I don't want to talk about your dog because I don't care about your dog. Or how he's got air, not fur. Or what his name means in Dutch. Or blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, that might have been a little harsh. Yo, Poodle, I'm Dookie. <laughs> Who wants to sniff my butt? Okay, maybe later then. <laughs> oh, me? No, I don't think I have Rottweiler in me, but I've got a wee bit of the Irish setter. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dookie. <laughs> You're Shih Tzu's, right? I love that name. <laughs> Excuse me, is that loser dog yours? Loser dog? He's not a loser. This is the best dog in the world. Really? Has he, she, or it won prestigious dog shows like ours? What's a dog show? <laughs> we have to kick you out of our park now. <laughs> they literally kicked us out. They kicked us out too. Hi, I'm Jimmy, and they said my snod grass was too ugly. They said pumpkin smells like toilet water, which she does, because mm -hmm. she really loves toilet water. Well, they laughed at my dog, or maybe it was our ascot. Anyway, it's not fair. Well, it's nice meeting all of you, and they have not heard the last of me. To the lab! Did that dog just talk? No, you guys must have hit your heads on the fall. Bad. Right. Size 42. Yep, those are some big feet. We need to know what a dog show is and where Dookie can win one. A dog show is a competition that judges dogs based on pureness of breed and pedigree. Why do you want to win a dog show? Dookie is the most amazing dog in the world. Just tell us where a dog show is so we can win it and show those snooty dorks and dogs that I rock. Plus, those blue ribbons are shiny. Good news. The Portminster Dog Show is in town. Sign up, Czar. Now. Well, that was convenient. To the dog show! Uh, is that Bigfoot? We're running some tests. Cool. cool. Hello, I am Jonathan Test. 
I'd like to sign up my canine for the show. What kind of dog is he? Oh, he's an awesome dog. Yes, but what breed is he? Oh, is that really important? What kind of dog do you have, sir? He's a dookie. We only accept pure breeds here. Kick them out! Yeah! Ow! That really hurt! They kicked us out too, but my dog is fabulous, just like their dog. Well, they're gonna let Dookie in, cause nobody kicks around Johnny Task! <laughs> We thought Bigfoot had a beatbox. But he stinks. He's Bigfoot. Make him do something with his feet. Yeah, you're right. What's this? It's a homemade coupon good for three free experiments on Johnny. What's the catch? I need you to hack into the dog show registry and sign up Dookie. Then give us something to sneak into the Coliseum with so we can show the world that Dookie rocks! Okay, you're signed up. And just aim this at any security guard. You'll get in no problem. Hey, what's going on? Nice to see you. We're gonna win the dog show. Please welcome Chihuahua 132. <laughs> and here is Rottweiler 28. <laughs> and now welcome the Dookie. <laughs> Will somebody <laughs> kick them out? <laughs> I'm really getting tired! We dressed our dogs up like pure breeds, but we still got kicked out. Oh, yeah? Well, if it's a purebred dog they want, then a purebred dog they will get. Back to the lab! Okay, that dog talked again. Nope, again, you guys must have hit your heads on the landing. He is really good with his feet. Turn me into a purebred dog now! Then I can, I can, I can win a blue ribbon and laugh at those snooty dog people in the face! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him like this. <laughs> Hook me up. Bring her the tests. What's in it for us? Skill sock. I told him I needed it for a school art project. Deal. But rescrambling Dookie's DNA could result in a loss of his voice box and short-term memory. And he'll take on the distinguishing characteristics of whatever pure breed he becomes. I don't care. Doggy wants shiny ribbon. So pure breed me, baby. How about something big? Perhaps a nice Rottweiler. Why not? Cool! Dookie's a Rottweiler! <laughs> Why did Dookie attack? He's sort of not Dookie. He's a purebred, which tend to be genetically deficient and insane. Then make him a softer breed. <laughs> Cool, he's a boxer. I love boxers. Hey, high five, buddy. Next. Uh, why is he all wrinkly? He's a Sharpei. What the heck is a Sharpei? A Chinese fighting dog. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Just make him a poodle. Okay, I was way off on the poodle thing. Come on. What dog will blow away those judges? I'm talking super cute and lovable and won't beat me up and won't dance like that. Well, nothing beats a beagle puppy. Is... is that your dog? Yep, I just had to give him a bath. And that's what he looks like. An amazing purebred beagle who is gonna kick your snooty purebred butts. Well, you still can't beat us. Watch me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome super cute beagle puppy number one. Johnny and the people are loving his puppy. I don't think anything can stop this super cute dog from winning. I just realized something. What? Well, Dookie's a puppy, so that means he's not housebroken, right? Oh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pillows. Really smart, Johnny. I'll be right back. Did we win? Show me the trophy! You 
got kicked out. Oh, I'll never win a dog show, Blue Ribbon. But it's not important. Dookie, you're an amazing dog, and you'll always be our Blue Ribbon champion. I don't want your Blue Ribbon. Huh. I thought that was a really sweet ending to this story. I just thought I could win a trophy for all the dogs I couldn't get in that dog show. A victory for the wonderful and loyal dogs who all go by the name Mutt. Okay, that's a great story, but it's not like we can kick everyone out of the Coliseum and take it over, right? Right! Right! Wait a minute. I have an idea. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to the Johnny Minster Dog Show. And here's Jimmy and his ugly dog you should all clap for, or I'll have Bigfoot kick you out too. And here's Ascot Dude and his matching Ascot Dog. Give it up for Pumpkin, who loves to drink out of the toilet. And now, let's hear it for the best dog in the world. <laughs> Go, Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> now that's how you end the story. Yeah.